Welcome to Full of Grace Ministry. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Sunday. This is a day to rejoice and be thankful in it. You don't have any problems. All you need is faith in God. We need to be thankful this Sunday. Um, God has been good regardless of what we might think. Uh, I know we have our ups and downs, but if you look around, you can always be thankful. Uh, we're happy to be with you today. trisha has got some um, uh, scriptures she's going to be sharing, and I've got some family quotes that I like to read to you. We want you to know that you can find happiness in God, and there is a reason to be thankful no matter what your situation is today. You can always find something to be thankful for. Thank you for tuning in this morning. And, and just be thankful that you was able to tune in and to tune in to God and let Him speak to you this morning. Um, we're thankful to have um, Decider with us. Uh, his name is Daryl. Daryl is uh, our um, faithful minister of music. He's been with us for a long time. And he loves the Lord. We have seen it in his singing. Um, and he goes to church. And God has blessed him in many ways. And um, of course he can tell you all about that if he wants to. Because this is a time to be thankful. We'd like for you to share your testimony of thanks here on Full of Grace Ministry. It's all about him. It's not nothing about us or the things around us that we are doing. If people cannot glorify God and it's about God and see His glory, it doesn't mean anything. So let's, let's give God the praise this morning. Let's be thankful. And uh, I, I like to first say, a happy family is but a, an early heaven. Let's, so let's be happy this, this day. This day. Let's be happy because it's like an early heaven. Trish is going to read to us. First of all, I want to say, you know, all of our families has been on a journey. And uh, it seems like we've been through the wilderness, just like Moses and, uh, and the children of Israel. So uh, when you pray, don't just pray and ask for things like Jesus is a Santa Claus. But just be thankful that... Uh, you're able to wake up and serve Him and praise Him just for who He is. Okay, Thanksgiving Scriptures. Philippians 4, 6. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Ephesians 5, 20. Giving thanks always for all things to unto God and the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Psalms 50.14 Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows to the Most High. Hebrews 13.15 By him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise unto God continually. That is the fruit of our lips. Giving thanks unto his name. Psalm 75, 1. Unto thee, O God, do I give thanks. Unto thee do we give thanks. For thy name is near thy wondrous works declare. I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to all family and friends. And just remember, everybody goes through things, but Jesus is the answer for everything. Amen. Amen. Like Trish said, everybody goes through things. We need to always be thankful. And I know a lot of times, and maybe even today, you might be sad. And you say, uh, Pastor John and Trish, I, I, I can't even get the word thankful out. But we're here today, and uh, we'd like to share with you that we know what it means to be sad. We've been there. And if you want to jump in here anytime, do. We have been there. 
We're all human and uh, we have our ups and downs and we fall. But there is a Jesus Christ if we look up that He can uh, uh, way up from heaven look way down below and pick you back up. We've been there. God is love. We must be thankful for that love. Some people take that for granted, the love of God. And uh, the love of God... And when we are not so lovable, uh, when people judge uh, the things we do and we don't look so lovable, uh, when we look at each other and, and, and uh, uh, nobody looks lovable anymore, uh, faults, uh, wrongdoings, uh, well, we're living in a time when uh, almost anything or anybody you look around in any place you look around there's so many problems it don't look lovable family situations don't look lovable but we are here and we are thankful that a happy family is but an earlier heaven so let's be thankful that we can be happy we can reach a happy goal if we put our efforts toward it you know, we were talking last night, and I said, you know, it's like a circle our family goes in. And I told John, I said, I uh, wonder if we're put in this circle just to see how loving and forgiving that we really are, you know, uh, in, in each other's faults and, uh, and everything. So I'm wondering if we're not put in certain circumstances just to see what we're made of. Because the devil, when he, he uh, came against Job, he said uh, he would uh, take everything that he had, but uh, he couldn't take his life. And so a, a lot of our families has been through that. We've been through literally walking through the valley of the shadow of death, through hell. So we just got to hold on to Jesus and realize that he is the answer to every situation. We're not perfect. We fall, we falter, we stumble. We're like little babies that wobble trying to stand and walk. We fall down on our messy diapers sometimes. And so, yes, we need to realize that we're, we all are able to fall. We all are able to have faults. But in this Thanksgiving hour, let's try to put away all that negative. And let's, uh, uh, the, that negative person that's in the family, that negative one, that friend that just hounds you and, uh, pounds you that you feel like you're going to fall. Let's kind of put it away this Thanksgiving and let's be thankful that, um, that we can make an effort to change things. That's the main thing. Now, before this, uh, message is over, you might find a hundred mistakes. But let's try to at least find one good thing. Let's be happy. Let's be thankful that there is a God and that only God can put families together. Only God can keep families together. Only God is your strength in the time of trouble. Only God is your help when you need Him. Only God is your strength, your deliverer in your hardships. When trouble comes, only God. God can be there to save you in your time of need. We call him Jesus. Now, families are the compass that guide us. They are the inspirations to reach great heights. And our comfort when we occasionally falter. Man, I know that all families go through this. It's not just ours. I mean, you could see the news and families are torn apart and there's constantly wars and rumors of wars. And I know that God is able to restore and rebuild and uh, put back together all the things that the locusts have eaten. Now, we all want a family. We all need a family. Uh, sometimes it brings joy, sometimes it brings sadness, but still, it's a family. We can call it a clan, call it a network, call it a tribe, call it a family. Whatever you call it, whoever you are, you need one. You need a family. 
And, and Trish and I would like to be part of your family. Yes, in the family of God, in the family of friends, uh, we'd like to be a part of your family. You know, at the end of the day, a love, loving family should find everything forgivable. So, I would like to say, forgive, forgive, that you be forgiven. None of us is perfect. Where none of us are perfect, but we can be perfect in the eyes of God. His ways is so much different than ours. Thank God to that. You can forgive, but you don't have to live and be in a situation. You can forgive people that's done you wrong, but you don't have to be around that wrong anymore to be hurt. But you can forgive from a distance and from afar. You can forgive with a loving heart. But that don't mean you have to be around certain situations such as drugs, alcohol, uh, different things like that. People that wrongfully hurt you and despitefully use you. But you can forgive. It says forgive your enemies and those that despitefully use you. I think people that have a brother or sister don't realize how lucky they are. Might not get along, but I tell you, you don't know how lucky you are. They are sure, sure they fight a lot, but to know that there's, there's always somebody there, somebody that's family, somebody that's family that's always there, Oh yeah, brothers and sisters fight, and yes, they went their separate ways, but there's always somebody there. You may say, Pastor John and Trish, I have no family, they're just never around. You have Jesus, and the mere mention of His name can change a lot of things. Devils tremble at that name. If you do have a brother and sister, let God be in you that you can be the first to say, I forgive, I forgive, I forgive. It's up to the rest of the family members to do the same. It's up to the rest. And we can live in a happier place because like I said, we all got falls. But this Thanksgiving, as you sit around the table, you don't have to look at faults and wrongdoings. Gather around with your hands and, and pray to the Almighty God and thank God that you're still alive and that you can at least sit beside each other even if you can't stand to look at each other. <laughs> My God, did you know that you, your life can be turned around? The, the very evil thoughts that you are thinking about your brother or your sister or a family member can bring joy in your life by forgiven, forgiven. Because if we don't take it out of the mind, as a man thinketh, so is he, you've got to think good thoughts about your family members. There's got to be something good that you can see. Something good. You know, the other night, our grandbaby was over here, and he's trying to learn how to walk. And, you know, here's a, a little saying. Okay, the baby rises to his feet, takes a step, and is overcome with triumph and joy. It falls flat on his face and the pattern for all that is to come. But learn from the bewildered baby to lurch to your feet again. You'll make it to the sofa in the end. Dreams are renewable no matter what our age or condition. There are still untapped possibilities within us and beauties awaiting to be born. And whatever course you're on, you decide upon, there is always someone to tell you that you're wrong. And there's always difficulties arising which tempt you to believe that your critics are right. To map out a course of action and follow it to the end requires courage. The baby keeps on getting up because it eventually will learn how to walk without falling. Yes, and I thought that was so precious to watch that baby. In a learning process, and we're all still in the learning pro process, sometimes we still fall. But that baby was so cute, he would just take them little steps, and someone would hold his hands and lead him across the room. And as a baby falls, he rises back up. Yeah, let Jesus hold your hand. 
And as you fall, we're little babies. We're His children. And He can uh, kind of teach us and, and, and show us how to walk this daily life that we're in because uh, we're going to fall. We're going to fall. And someone needs to pick us up. And I'm thankful this morning that I got a reason to stand here as a baby of God and say, Jesus, don't let me fall. Help me when you see me fall. Uh, help me to keep on walking and walking and walking till I get stronger, that I can just start running and that, that I can run to a couch and just relax. <laughs> and Lord Jesus, wrap me in your love. Come on, read some more to us. I like okay. that. Don't limit yourself. Many people limit themselves to what they think they can do. You can go as far as you want to go. You can. As far as you want to. It's not the load that breaks you down. It's the way you carry it. And I want to be all that I'm capable of becoming. And ask yourself, what difference will this thing we're fighting about make in ten years? In one year or in one month? Now, I like that. Now, this is to all the families. If your family, this Thanksgiving is in a big old fight, and you say, Brother Grace, I, I don't know if we could get together without guns and rifles. <laughs> Praise God. Ask yourself, what difference will this thing we're fighting about make in ten years? Or in one year, or in a month, what's it going to matter? And did you know, if you look at the situation, most fights is over. Little things like this that don't mount to nothing. Have you ever noticed that? And that little thing is dwelt upon, and it becomes a mountain and mountain, and and family members all join in, and it'd be a molehill turned into a mountain. But praise God, I know a mountain mover that calms the seas, walks on the water, and all we need to do is get Him in our situation this um, Thanksgiving. We can be thankful. Be thankful for your spouse. Be thankful for your your house that you live in, be thankful for your vehicle, be thankful for the clothes you wear, be thankful for the uh, food that you eat, be thankful for your brother and your sister, be thankful for them that loves the Lord and that is in your life because they can help so much. I know that for a fact in my experience with life. If it wasn't for good Christian people in my life, I would felt mighty low. They always got something to say say that picks you up. God is in their life. And with, I cannot imagine on Thanksgiving a person not knowing Jesus Christ. And all the situations of life that he goes through, terrible decisions that he has to make, he falls so many times. I cannot imagine without God in their life how miserable life would be. Because even with God in your life, there's bad situations, but there's always a way to escape. He's always there in time of need for you to escape. And you know it's nobody but God is right there beside you helping you because uh, you cannot do it yourself and no one can do it for you but in the presence of the Holy Ghost of God in the name of Jesus He's always there and He leads and guides you. You can be happy you can be happy this Sunday, this Thanksgiving, because let Jesus sit at your table. Let Him be the head of your table. And when you look across the table and you look at the turkey or whatever you might have on your table, give God the glory. Give God the glory for the turkey dinner, the mashed potatoes, the corn and the green beans, and the family members sit beside you and across from you, and them ones that cannot even come around. Give God the glory and thanks anyhow, even if they're not sitting there at the table. 
They're the one missing out because they could be right amongst the family if you have a forgiven spirit. You got anything to say about that? I just want to say, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you need to ask for forgiveness uh, of your sins and get baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins. And you'll receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's Acts 2.38. And uh, just pray and believe that God will guide your steps and your life and your light. We are glad to have our minister of music here with us today. Brother Darrell, like we said, he's always been faithful. He's been with us throughout the years and singing fine gospel songs. And uh, listen to his singing. Praise God. Uh, we're so glad that the word has been going out through YouTube, uh, Full of Grace Ministry site, um, uh, on Sing Snap, um, uh, on uh, Facebook. The word has been going out. Uh, uh, about 11,500 viewers on YouTube, uh, 2,000 uh, on uh, Google account, um, uh, 800 or so on Sinks now. Um, God, there is people that love the Lord. And uh, we hope that you love the Lord today and be thankful for all He's done for you this Sunday. Be thankful. Now, if you'd like, please leave a comment of being thankful. Just anything. Just say, I thank the Lord today for being alive. I thank the Lord. Just thank the Lord for something. God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, which we all know dwells in the Lord Jesus Christ.